Hey, it's Kendrick with Technology Interpreters. Welcome to part 10 of the Sentinel One Complete Course on Endpoint Detection and Response. I have Jabari and Pierre with me today from the Cybersecurity Mentorship Program. And just want to mention if you need mentorship, I do have a program where I'm walking you through enterprise level. That means that's the same tools that big businesses are using. So you actually get hands on experience so that you can get a job in cybersecurity. So let's go ahead and change over and we're going to look at the console so what i'm showing here is i don't actually have access to the tax section here and the thing is with different subscription levels with these enterprise level it's a fancy way of saying it's more geared towards big businesses or larger size businesses um you don't have like, these tools to come up with you know subscription levels and some parts are offered as an add-on so i don't have tasks but i do have the remote ops and what's nice about the remote ops is this is a place that allows us to be able to create PowerShell, shell script, and other scripts um, to be able to take actions on a machine and then run them on large groups of machines. So we can call it a script name, script one, okay, and put a description because it requires you to put a subscription. So let's say description and then a script type. And so it wants us to choose action, artifact collection, data collection. So let's go ahead and click action here. And then we can do target operating system. So you can do Windows, Mac, and Linux. So it's not either or, it's and uh, for all of these. And then once we do that, you go to the next page. And then you get an option here. It takes you to this page. You can go ahead and download the script here. I got a test PowerShell script here that you can then upload. And uh, you can also attach a zip file too. Not sure about this feature. I haven't used these as much, but I'm going to be circling back after I completely kind of cover everything that's in the interface i'm going to be doing some specific projects related to different portions of the central one console so hey stay tuned more stuff to come we're not anywhere we're just getting started with central one at this point so once i do that i can go ahead and do this i can say execution timeout that typically means that 3600 seconds i want it to to end and what six times six that's so six minutes is that right am i doing that correct 3600 y'all do the math for me I'll <laughs> right uh so, but anyway, actually I'll do the math here because 3,600 divided by six, that ain't right. 3,600 divided by 60. Uh, 60 or 60 minutes, okay, cool. All right, got it. So that's the 60 minute interval. And then input is required. So we can tell it that, you know, if you need to do input instructions, you can put those here. So it's say something or do something. And then for input example, you can say this, you know, whatever. And then when you finish, you can go ahead and you can upload the script and you can submit another. So let's go, let's see, our script is called script one. Let's see if we can find it here. All right, so the thing is it doesn't, it does have a search right here. So there's our script one. So this is how it shows up and account. Let's see if we can do anything. Right, what does that give us? Uh, input output parameters do something okay and output parameters no output handling needed specific paths and output to a specific location so that allows us to put a custom path so enter four or five path where the agent can find the script results uh path must include the file name output destination directory okay let's see what else is and like i said i'm just kind of going through this and this is not something i've used this is not enabled in my main work console so I don't have access to a lot of these features. Once again, it's a little bit different, but I can also go here and I can run the script. And uh, what I'm trying to figure out is if I want to run this script, how do I target machines, right? So I can choose my specific path. Um, I actually, I'll do no path and I'll just put tests. Now, if I go next, how do I select who I want to run this machine on? All right, and see, that gives me all these options. But once again, I didn't select the scope. All right, so sent seven to endpoint. OK, so what, what this is showing me is that if it's sent it to seven endpoints, then essentially it depends on the script runs at basically whatever level you are in the, the console interface. And so I'm going to if I jump off of this, so I click on the Sentinels tab. You say I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the reason it didn't run is based on probably the operating system. Okay. So if I look at the breakdown here, uh, that script was targeting, I believe windows well, was doing windows, Mac and Linux. So it essentially could have been eight machines, but it didn't. So let's go back to it. And, uh, 
honestly, it's just one of those features. Like I said, I'll dig into it and I want to come back with a tutorial because I want to make sure I actually create some scripts and run those scripts. But in the meantime, oh, by the way, I was showing the setting setting. In the meantime, uh, just as far as the remote ops, that's pretty much it. You can see I don't have access, not a lot here in the remote settings either. So if you have some more insight into remote ops, I'd be very interested and uh, getting more so anyway i'm not going to click on that because it's, it's it's difficult to show the session because every time i click off and click on it does show everybody's email address who created the scripts and stuff like that so this is going to be a really really short video so hate to, to cut it short here but there's just not a lot to show uh, but we will get into details like once again we have future products com projects coming up in the future so anyway this is kendrick with technology interpreters Thanks for watching. Sorry, not, it was kind of uneventful, but I would strongly encourage you to come back for the settings. There's plenty we can do in the settings. I promise you that's going to be a big session. So anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.